Hey guys, Kakarot197 again. And I just got something really cool in the mail today that was sent to me by High Ground. One of their High Ground X Gundam Wing keyboards. Which also came with a Gundam Wing mouse pad and a Wing Gundam jelly bag. And that jelly bag is definitely in a very striking yellow color. So before we move on to the main event of these things, let's have a look at the accessories. And if you want any of this stuff, I will have the links down below. So, like I said, let's start by having a quick look at this yellow bag. There's not too much I can say about it. It does have a handle and inside of it, we have the shoulder strap. And just like on the back, it has both the high ground and the Gundam Wing logos on it. So now let's move on to the Gundam Wing mousepad. Uh, there's two available. We have either the Wing Zero uh, facing off against the Epion, or the one that is in my container, the Wing Zero Blueprint version. Now the Wing Zero versus the Epion is definitely one of the best scenes they could have picked if they wanted to have a Wing Zero themed mouse pad, but personally I really love this kind of subdued blueprint-esque aesthetic. And it also came in a pretty sturdy cardboard tube, so I think I could actually use this to store some of my other posters in, so that's gonna have a nice dual purpose. And with those accessories out of the way, Let's have a look at the actual keyboard. This thingy is from their Basecamp line and I really love what they did here. Um, taking from the high grade Gumpla line, this is the high ground grade keyboard. And let's see what else they've got on the box. On the back we can see what stuff we get included. One keyboard, one Type-C cable, a keycap puller and a switch puller. Because not only does this thing have removable keycaps, but also the switches are removable. And then we have a little text blurb with a nice variant on the Gundam Wing story and also the high ground story. For the collectors, the year is after Colony 195 and Gundam Wing X High Ground represents the culmination of artistry and building. This collection is dedicated to the five Gundam pilots and their sacrifices. High Ground is a premium gaming hardware and lifestyle brand co-founded by Rustin Sotode and Ka Lu. Our mission is to be the expression of elevated gaming culture. And this is definitely a very gaming focused keyboard because as soon as we open this bad boy up, uh, you will see that this is a 65% keyboard as opposed to a full keyboard. Something that takes up less space on your desk and allows for a better posture while still having the most important keys on it. So let's take it out and have a look at this thing. This is the Admiral Blue version and I'm really digging this color. In real life, the color looks a bit more subdued than on the website, but I think it fits the overall theme and my mouse pad perfectly. And it's of course going to look even more impressive once we hook it up and the RGB kicks in. Also, in case you're wondering where the letters and the symbols are now that their real estate has been taken up by this really nice print of the Wing Gundam's head, they're now on the front instead of on the top. And since we're on the topic of the keys, underneath them there are white flame mechanical switches. These are co-designed by High Ground and TTC and are linear switches with specs that are basically comparable to Cherry MX Red switches. And for those who aren't too deep into mechanical keyboards, it means that the keys go down quietly and smoothly. and also register really quickly. Or to put it even simpler, this is a gaming oriented keyboard. But like I said before, inside of the box we also get a keycap puller and a switch puller, so if you don't like the switches that are already in it, you can hot swap them with more clicky switches like the Cherry MX Browns, or go for Cherry MX Blues if you want it to sound like you're firing the Wing Zero's machine cannons while you're gaming. 
Then, as for the other stuff inside of the box, we've got two high ground stickers, and hidden behind there, we have the USB-C cable, which is braided, giving it a nice quality feel. And finally, there was also this card telling us all about the multimedia features and customizability that the keyboard has, both in software and baked into the thing. So now let's get it hooked up and have a look at those pretty lights. And as soon as you plug it in, things light up nicely and evenly. And even though you can download software to completely customize it, it does come preloaded with a ton of different profiles that you can easily switch between with a key combination. And most important of all, the included profiles are all really nice, especially once you select the color you want. And well, that has been all for this review of the Gundam Wing keyboard that was provided to me by High Ground. Links to buy one for your own down below. As always, a big thanks to the Patreon supporters. I hope everyone watching has a great day, and I'll see you all next time.